yeah, each and every one have a different personality and I know what they are as well, I know, I know every one. Um, this one's quite sassy, but yeah. <laughs> I've basically grown up with them, really. <laughs> Farming's always been the thing that I wanted to do. I never even thought of another career, really. It's never crossed my mind. I've just always been dedicated to farming, really. I'm Jessica Elwood, I'm 18 years old. I live on a beef, sheep and dairy farm, Buff Castle Farm. I live with my mum, my dad and my two sisters. Through Nestle, we um, formed a group which is called Women and Agriculture. Women are sort of overlooked in agriculture because the men are the main focus. And I think we are like, an important role in farming. Jessica now works on the farm alongside David full time. She just shines, she loves it. We sell our milk through First Milk and it goes to Nestle. We have been selling milk to Nestle for around 20 years now and over the last four to five years we've really started to look at the sustainability and resilience of our dairy farms. The food industry is responsible for about 30% of the world's greenhouse gases. So as the biggest food and beverage company in the world, we have a huge responsibility and I think real opportunity to really start to make a difference. Dairy farming, like all farming really, over the years has become more intensive. We've been impacting the soil, which means that you are decreasing biodiversity. There's more use of pesticides, herbicides, and we're getting more and more rains because of climate change. So what we've done is we've worked with the farmers on what we call the milk plan, which is all about how can we drive social, environmental, and also economic benefits to the farmers, to us as a business, and broadly uh, for society. We pay a sustainability bonus, so we pay them for the milk, but we also pay them for doing all of this work, which therefore has, has benefits to the farmers. The milk plan looks to reduce the carbon footprint, but also looks more holistically at the biodiversity on farm, water protection on farm, and also aspects such as social responsibility. The single biggest thing we can do as a company to really tackle climate change is to focus on our ingredients sourcing, which is about 70% of our footprint and to achieve that what we need to do is implement what we call regenerative agriculture. Regenerative agricultural practices are really important because they allow us to not only conserve our environment but actually regenerate it and make it much better for future generations. Our farmers are implementing some big changes in terms of how they manage the soil. We're working with an organisation called AgriCarbon and they use equipment that allows us to dig into a field all the way down to a metre and to check how much carbon is at each of those different levels. The landscape you are standing on here is a product of livestock for thousands of years and all the Elwoods are doing is to look to enhance and protect what's already here. We keep planting the hedges every year. We've planted some woodland as well. We set um, areas of the farm aside just to put back to nature again for insects and things like yeah. that. We've definitely seen increase in birds and things with having the hedges. In the future, I just encourage more people to sort of plant trees and hedges and make them see the benefits. Spain, we're working with SEO BirdLife. They're mapping how many birds and the different types of species that we've got on every single farm. Once we've got that information, we're going to be able to implement a number of things around uh, putting in artificial lagoons and putting in bird boxes as well. In Switzerland, uh, we've got a programme with a farmer where we've implemented what's called a biogas digester. We take the manure from the cows and we're able to create electricity. To make this work, the farmer has to be at the centre of this, which means it has to work for the farmers. We work together well with Nestlé. They work for us, we work for them. And it's, it's just, it's a good partnership. I think everything has a, a role, doesn't it, on this planet. Um, the bees have a purpose of pollinating the flowers, haven't they? The cows have a purpose of eating the grass. I mean, we spread the slurry and then the grass grows and the cows eat it and then they produce milk. And 
it's just the whole circle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In order to get our farmers to actually do this, they do need um, that assurance that Nestle is there not only in the short term, but long term as well. This is going to take years to really start to make a, a difference in terms of climate change impact, biodiversity, water. So we need to be there with them to assure them that we're going to fundamentally support them.